uh, do you want to say the words or should I do the stuff? Uh, okay, I will. Uh, h- hello, uh, ESA. Uh, my name is Invive and I'm uh, uh, the uh, Sirius Sam, the second encounter speedrunner from Russia. Uh, today I want to perform uh, speedrun on normal difficulty, uh, it means a normal uh, cat- category, uh, and uh, the, there is uh, there are not uh, many unique uh, me- mechanics uh, in this game, uh, but uh, Tezuro, my uh, com- uh, com- uh, my uh, so commenter, uh, can uh, tell you and explain all the things. Yeah, hello, hello everyone. I'm- <laughs> I'm Tezero, I'm also running Serious M games, except for HD ones. Um, they're very difficult, different from this one. Uh, I'll explain everything. I'll explain more than there is to this game, so don't worry. I, I also speak on Nitro Family, which is Serious M engine game, which has more boring stuff. And, but this one is really good. So, uh, you ready to go? Yes, okay. I, I hope uh, we will have some fun. And uh, the timer starts uh, when I get uh, control, uh, uh, control of my character. Uh, just, just say, like, start to me and I'll press the timer. I guess, uh, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, okay. Three, uh, two, one, start. I did press the button and hopefully everything works. All right, so Series M2, uh, two, not two, second encounter uh, starts you off in uh, like South America or some shit. Um, and uh, the first thing we do this round is pick up rocket launcher. So we're playing a normal difficulty, which means that we can uh, damage ourselves. Uh, there are generally three categories in Series M games. It's tourist easy, it's one category for two difficulties. Uh, then it's normal and then it's uh, serious. So here in the beginning, uh, he's gonna shoot the rocket out of the water and what will make is create additional momentum. Really good boost, really good boost. Uh, it isn't it isn't used much in the entire run, but uh, it's like when you boost out of water, you get like additional speed for whatever reason. So in the beginning, uh, the secret rocket launcher has uh, five rockets in total. One we use for a boost, two we'll use for uh, for Reptiloid, which spawns later, and two we'll need for, for the skip. So the ammo management is, in this is pretty important. Um, so we're using Knife at the beginning. Knife is, in Serious M is kind of really OP, so as soon as uh, Bull spawns, he's gonna knife the Bull. And hopefully that's gonna go fine, because generally that's a reset point. You just uh, smash the Bull until you kill him. And then as soon as Bull dies, uh, Reptiloid spawns, I believe. Two rockets, and then knife him. Uh, as, uh, we don't want to pick up the sniper rifle because it will initiate the sequence where RB spawn and everything. We just jump in. We need 100, like just over 100 health for the next skip. So, uh, conveniently enough, there are pills spawning here. It's important to not pick all of them up because otherwise our spawns and then this boost here and we're nice first try very yes. good very good thank you all right all right so this is uh, uh i guess seizure warning <laughs> uh, this is out of balance and serious sam games uh handle out of balance in the same way all the time they basically uh, make it act like water, so you can sweep up, up, down, left, right. Um, you can sometimes get stuck and not be able to go down, but you can fix your position. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So th- th- that was kind of a difficult skip, but I mean, first try is really good. Uh, yeah. The jumping mechanics are a bit wonky in Serious Sam. Is like there's a bit of like push forward momentum, I guess. When you like jump, you also have like extra tap forward, which you have to account for. So the old strat here was like to go up, but going down is faster because you don't get teleported. You have to jump around, just fly up with the level ending trigger. So now, um, the value of Jaguar. 
um, second level. It starts uh, fairly simple because uh, until the last room of the jumping pad sequence you can't really do much so all you got to do here is play fast. The so first room isn't all that interesting, the jumping pad's just there. <laughs> you should direct the Lloyd as soon as you can. Um, and then just proceed. In the next room there will be some, some some stuff. In this one there is literally nothing. <laughs> Alright, there, there will be more like uh, regarding other bounces, uh, there will be quite a lot of them in the run. I'll be giving the seizure warnings, I guess. Not all of them are like heavy seizure indulging, but some of them might be. So here uh, he's gonna shoot rocket on the third jump pad and uh, jump to the right. Normally you're supposed to go to the left, you made it, uh, but you can uh, boost yourself and skip the jumping pad sequence. So here he's gonna get on the next one, he's gonna get stuck and shoot rocket. That will create momentum and push him forward. First try, easy every time. Okay, now he's gonna oh. paper clip into the wall. And, uh, he needs any health. Okay, yeah, good. All right. Uh, I guess seizure warning. <laughs> uh, and now we just uh, go through the entire valley of Jaguar. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's what I was talking about. That uh, sometimes when you go in the out of bounds, uh, you won't be able to go down. Uh, you're like getting stuck in this, uh, like, in this, like, a, like a, a trap of sorts, I guess. And uh, as in Vive said, uh, like uh, Joker's trap, but that's the yes. Russian memes. Yes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too deep into that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you just, uh, instead of going to like two towers, we're supposed to get like two jaguars statues, I think. Yeah, that's what you do at this level. Uh, you can just fly under the level. It doesn't matter that we have no health because uh, uh, in certain places, uh, between certain levels, I think in this game, between every single level, the game refills your health and like gives you different weapons. Like on some point we'll just finish level with like close to no weapons and then we'll get cannon because game just accounts for us having it. It's just, just general serious send mechanics, very, very easy. <laughs> <clears throat> Here we go. Alright, this level is almost done. Next one is uh, City of the Gods. That one is one of the longest, probably, out of bounces beside, besides the last level in the game. But it's fairly tricky, so what you're gonna do here is... It doesn't have much health, but the game gives you an extra 50. He needs... He doesn't need any health, actually, here, because he's not gonna be boosting. But it's not nice to have some health. Uh, so he's gonna paperclip well, If you wonder what paperclips is, is just basically some walls are just very thin, like paper, so you can kind of jump into them. It's very specific walls, it has to do with like angles around them. You just clip here. And yeah, he damages himself again to activate the going down. Yes. So now, line up on the speed boots, because uh, even though we're in out of bounds, we can still go faster and we're gonna traverse through this entire level as fast as possible as soon as we pick it up. So uh, one thing to note is that there are like items that he's zooming on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, those are generally to be teleported during the fights. The developers left them out of bounds and they just activated by certain triggers and be placed on the level. So uh, he's just gonna pick them up right now. And uh, for the rest of this level nothing really happens, we just fly to hell farmer ammo and then to the exit. So if Josh have anything to say, please do. Alright, sure. Uh, I can let you know, let you guys know about some uh, upcoming bid wars we have going. Uh, sure. Yeah, we got some, uh, we got a couple Last of Us bids to put your money towards. Uh, we have the bonus run for the left behind single player DLC for The Last of Us. Uh, if they get to $750 for that goal, they will do the extra Left Behind single player DLC at the end of the run. Uh, we're currently at $75 from that, so we have quite a way to go. Uh, but start getting your money towards it early. We, we should hopefully be, uh, reach the goal by the time we finish The Last of Us. 
Uh, but then there's also the other funnier bid war that you could also put your money towards. There's the uh, bid war to high five or not high five uh, Ellie in The Last of Us. Well, rude. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had anyone put anything towards that bid war yet, so if you're the first, you'll set the precedent for whether we're going to high-five or not Ellie during the run. Alright, and thus the City of the Gods is over. I think this is actually the longest out of bounds. I think it's longer than the last level. Yes, so if you yes. think that the entirety of this game is out of bounds flying, you're wrong. There will be some other stuff, but... Uh, Got hit. You need uh, four rocket boosts for this level. So the, f the fact that he picked up uh, armor and health in previous level is very important because he's going to be doing uh, four rocket boosts, four rocket jumps in this level. And each rocket jump eats 50 of you. So if you have health, it will just get uh, 50 health of you. If you also have armor, it will also count out uh, some armor. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about percentage, but. But yeah, uh, the more you have, the more uh, small boosts that he's doing right now you can do, because uh, otherwise you need uh, one rocket to jump out of bounds here, then one rocket to jump back in bounds, and then one rocket to get uh, in the another out of bounds because the door is closed. But the flying sequence here is like 5 seconds, but it's uh, fairly tricky to get to. Uh, this game has been seen way more attention lately, like there's been more others, so there's uh, way more skips than before. Um, some time ago, like a lot of these levels were just uh, running through the stage. So here he's gonna set up, there are convenient holes in the ceiling, and uh, he's just gonna go between the wall. A very easy first try so far, every single skip. What a legend. <laughs> The lack of ah will be will be fulfilled. All right, the pit. This is the first level which has close to no skips. Uh, it's all on timers. And fish start spawns in the beginning. The god boost, god boost. Ah, almost. Pretty good, but yeah, fish do electrical damage and they push you really really far. And, uh... Oh yeah. First room is like the crushers with frogs. Uh, so generally, this level is where Crow Team went full, full on. Okay, let's create the best arenas we can do, and they uh, never done anything as uh, interesting, I guess, <laughs> since this is one of the better levels, in, like all series and games, in my opinion, because of how many diverse arenas there are. So this arena has uh, uh, two walls, which. Uh, gravitate you towards them and as soon as you hit one you start you like bounce off them as the kamikazes do now and the clears would be too late doing later and what you try to do here is like get stuck in a certain position where you're balancing at one spot and not being gravitated towards any of walls and from that point we need to kill five backs of clears and as soon as five fifth back dies ooh, ooh. As soon as fifth back dies, the door will open. So this fight is like kind of God. on a timer. <laughs> really unfortunately. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah, but this fight could go out of control as you can see. Okay, okay. <laughs> it, it, it's okay, oh my so. god. <laughs> On, on mental difficulty, it's a bit. Uh, oh bit my god. Mean. It's a bit of a meme. Oi no. Okay. Uh, Oi no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, door is open. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> and you didn't even die. Yes. All planned. <laughs> so now. Now this room is uh, is kind of have like, it's tilting left and right, and uh, th there is a fight here, but you're not really needed to be doing the entirety of it. So, uh, let's just kill a few guys, and that door is on the timer. You're just gonna wait for it to. Open. Yes. Here we go. All right, here I'm gonna. Ah, I miss. Devil snipe. <laughs> I, I miss a shot. 
<laughs> well, also last cannonball, but we'll have two more. The devil guy. Okay. It uh, doesn't matter. You can like all melee weapons in series 7 insanely OP, so it's stun, stun lock small enemies, almost instantly kill them, etc. etc. So it's very good. So bulls will be spawning on bridge and support to be stuck. Okay. It was as close to the left. Oh, he actually got hit by a blast. He did. That's good. That's good. Rocket boost across the. Nice. Nice and easy. Why not? That was so sketchy. Now... <laughs> okay. Here we go. Alright. Now the the, sl the cylindric room. This is where a lot of frogs will be spawning. And the best way to deal with frogs uh, is either chainsaw or or a Tommy gun. But this this uh, ch chainsaw is just better. I mean, chain is, uh, mini gun is also pretty good. I guess but wasting ammo is not a good idea. So yeah, then there are two phases of this one. First is frogs, and then as soon as frogs are done, uh, bulls, two bulls will spawn. After that, uh, I will pop the serious bomb. Serious bomb is uh, the thing they added in the second encounter. I don't know the first encounter had it. Uh, maybe it had, I, I can't remember. Uh, where it just uh, kills everything that's already on the map, except for uh, boss enemies, it doesn't do absolutely nothing to them. It's very important not to miss the first people. I think he falls like slightly before all the frogs are dead. Here, one. Great. As soon as first biomax spawns, the bomb goes poof, and the door opens. Everything else in that fight doesn't matter. So this room has some clears, just play forward them. And then uh, we're out to the to the last arena before the boss fight. The next fight is uh, well, it's more difficult. Since we're playing normal, this one is one of those where if you don't manage your surroundings, you can get very easily destroyed. So there'll be like nine blue mechs, I think, and like two red biomechs from each side. Or eight, but eight, eight blue and one red from each of four side. And after that, there will be bulls, and after that, there will be more demons. And after all of that is dead, the door will open, so we just gotta know where they spawn and pre fire them, basically. Sniper rifle is a really, really, really good weapon in this game. One shots. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of small fry in Oi, no. one HP. Oh no. This would be. Oh my god. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Bad save. And from behind. Okay, okay, we we are good. I, I hope. Yeah, it should be fine. There will be enough health for the, for the boss fight. One HP is exactly all the HP we need. <laughs> yes. Gonna be interrupting this. Oh. Right. We are good. But yeah, that that was that's what I was talking about. Like when this begins, like it spawns on stuff from like three directions. Oh, yes. and, uh, <sighs> almost good pre-fire, slightly below. All right. Easy every time. So time for another paper clip. Uh, this time to skip the boss fight. The boss fights aren't long generally. Like the 
bosses are pretty spongy, but there are enough ammo and everything. But here, um, he's just gonna pick up the uh, boots of speed. Of course, the ball triple boost, so he needs 150 HP for this. Instead of fighting the God of Wind, uh, I don't remember his name, I'm gonna even try to re recall try. it. And uh, yeah, easy okay. every time. He's gonna just uh, boost three times and then uh, hit that uh, slope where, where the slope hits the wall and uh, easily paperclip out of there. Uh, is there major differences between fusion and standard? Yeah, fusion has like no glitches. I'll explain the difference between like uh, releases a bit later. So here uh, we go to Babylon section. Uh, this is uh, second uh, part of the game. So the game takes all our ammo weapons away. So we start picking everything up again. And uh, beginning has not much interesting except for uh, for the next room where there is a thing that I never knew about, actually, <laughs> until, uh, I mean, I didn't know how it works, but apparently in this room there is like a wall with an invisible staircase, you can just hop up. It looks like cheating, but it's just, it just works. Even though not covered, nothing to do with this game, the, the law still applies. So here we still don't have rocket launcher, so to go out of bounds, We'll have to, um, to use uh, Biomech, who's gonna open the secret, which will one of those uh, bad secrets. Oh, he didn't notice you, nice. Uh, which uh, gives you like one health pickup and spawns some insane enemies. So he's gonna spawn Biomech also, also first try again. Very, very impressive. Uh, uh, red Biomech is gonna provide us the boost, so we don't have to do the fight. Uh, and now he's gonna pick up the rocket launcher, because boosts are still required. He'll need to jump uh, two more times at this level, so otherwise he's only gonna chainsaw all the players. And then go into the fight. Uh, I guess I can explain the game differences. So, uh, first year Sam engine games, uh, it's basically this. Uh, there are one more non-serious Sam game that I can think of, it's Nitro Family. It behaves exactly the same way. So for rocket boosts, it's like, uh, your boosts just work. Uh, in HD, you like have to jump high and then shoot the rocket because like the boost overlaps your jump. <laughs> in, in, uh, in classic games, it doesn't do that. So, forced arena fight, so I'm gonna keep explaining. He's gonna focus on on the purple guys because I think, or he thinks, like everyone thinks <laughs> that they pr proceed to fight. The, uh, the unbounce flying doesn't work in uh, HD or fusion, uh, it's just not there. In, H in HD, you can fly cars and garbies, and in fusion, you can do anything. F fusion is like very polished. They like put a lot of triggers to teleport you back in the level. They patched every every glitch possible, so it's very boring speed in that regard. And serious M3 has just been sold stuff. Um, after that, uh, we'll be going to most of the on the field elements or something like the elephant yards. I'd like to give word to Josh, but I can't. Josh, you'll have to wait a bit. So, um, okay, I'm I'm ready. As, as soon as as soon as out of bounds happens, I'll, I'll let you know. But it's one of those parts of run where it actually doesn't. <laughs> actually, you can probably do. Like, if you have a donation, you can do one now. Uh, all right, I'll do it quickly. We got a fifteen dollar donation. The gnarl you know, uh, with no comment, but they did put it towards not high fiving Ellie. That's fifteen dollars towards not high fiving Ellie now. Ben, rude. I'm kind of sad. Uh, I, I might be it's night here. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I can try speaking up louder. Actually, I think, I think it's fine. Uh, so this level starts uh, again pretty casually. Uh, important to not lose all your health because uh, boosts will be needed. Um, so 
th th there are a lot of uh, very deadly enemies in a very small room. So kind of nice thing about this game is that uh, there are a lot of rooms where they really did lock you into a fight. So for a serious time you'd think that it's like arena shooter. So he, he runs to center that uh, that way uh, the, the enemies won't spawn. Uh, the, the green guy more specifically and uh, now it's just uh, rocket jumps. I think one more and then uh, the last room. We can skip this entire level without flying. So the, no, 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 no eye cancer for now. And the last boost is like, yeah, you don't need 50 for last one. So in this room, you'll be enough ammo, perfect ammo match. <laughs> there will be 16 clears here. So he's gonna just, I'm gonna let him count, count down. So chat, count down the clears. <laughs> hey, where you going? This was for don't have a party without me. five, <laughs> six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Perfectly, perfectly Oi. managed ammo. Yes. And that's that's the elephant touch game. So, uh, card yards of Gilgamesh is, uh, I think, one of the longer casual levels, but can uh, go out of bounds very easily at the start and then just run until the end of the level and uh, so he's just gonna get rid of the enemies which uh, which can get annoying and just boost shouldn't be too hard yet and now just run until the very last arena so Josh if you have more that's your time to shine all right perfect <laughs> To follow up to the other donation we just got, we got a $25 donation from Mod366. Uh, and they say, uh, how is not high-fiving Ellie even an option? This must be a glitch in the donation tracker. Ellie is a good girl. She deserves her high-five. Good luck to all the runners, but please leave some good RNG for my run on Sunday. Not much more to say other than I love you all. Please keep donating so that ESA can get many more amazing events running and also keep throwing Twitch Prime subs towards this channel. It doesn't even cost you money, so what are you waiting for? I swear that's written and I didn't add that. And uh, yes, he put his $25 donation towards high-fiving Ellie. So now high-fiving Ellie is $10 ahead of not high-fiving Ellie. Alright, and uh, we're getting to... like. Eh to the end of this outbound sequence. This one is not as glitchy because uh, there are certain outbound areas where they kind of expect you to get them. So these uh, health, they're kind of floating in the air. These are catapults when you run, like if you if you were, were to be like in a proper area, the game will would, would have thrown them as catapult, catapulted them in. So just jumping in a final arena. As soon as uh, he kills uh, golems or, or thing, I think three golems in spawn. As soon as they spawn, he pops the bomb, and then you can just run towards the door, because uh, that fight... Uh, that's one of those classic Serious Sam press S, press back button fights, because you're, you're starting to get overwhelmed fairly quickly. Uh, but the door opens almost instantaneously, so you can actually just go there if you, if you manage it. So this room is gonna pop another bomb because there is just a lot of a lot of, um, a lot of enemies and a lot of scorpions. And scorpions are hit scan, so they do all the damage. That's really annoying. So in this level, th th this level actually got changed quite a bit in the recent time due to uh, to co-op play uh, to co-op community of Series Sam, as they uh, they knew that the way to do this skip here. Speedrunners didn't, <laughs> but, but now everyone knows it. But we'll get to that in a bit. So first things first, gotta get to the, to the main main hub area of uh, of this level, and to do so, we just go through certain areas. So this one, not much happens. As soon as all our faces and demon die, the door opens. And next room, 
will be like a gimmick, gimmick room again, where the light uh, goes off and you need to push the, the switch to turn it on. And in that room there will be uh, Gnar spawning. But if you kill Gnars, uh, kamikazes will start spawning. We don't want that at all. So all the Gnars are gonna leave. And he's just gonna focus on uh, all the other enemies which spawn, which are like four scorpions and then I think four red biomechs and then or four blue biomechs and then one red biomech. And then the door opens. But yeah, the the skip which is uh, gonna be used in the main area was like uh, developed by by and uh, another runner, Black Secret. In, in, in the last, I would say, 3-4 months, there's been way more serious sim runners. A lot of them are Russian, or Russian-speaking, but still. Uh, but it gets more lively in Discord, like, co-op people had to have more fun, so... The community is definitely developing. So normally, what you're supposed to do here, this is the main area, you're supposed to do, like, 4 fights in each section of a courtyard. And, uh... We're supposed to go left, uh, but uh, instead we're gonna go right because there is an area where we can go out of bounds. And to go out of bounds, uh, we only need to do one area, so it's faster to go to the right because it's closer. Oops. Oh yeah, it's also important when you do the boost to not uh, hit the wall because otherwise you'll lose your horizontal momentum like instantly. It'll be just dropped to zero. So here he needs to start the, the arena, so he's gonna proceed Then a lot of uh, pumpkin heads are gonna start spawning, he's gonna start killing them Then as soon as um, uh, most of them are done, he's gonna pick up uh, invul invulnerability power up the secret And then after that he's gonna pick up uh, to speed and proceed uh, to finish the fight get the, the thing that opens the door. He needs to go like in, in distance, you can see that room which is locked, he needs to go there to go out of bounds. It's like a very specific room, it's a very difficult skip as well, because uh, there, there is not much room to work with to go out of bounds. You can very easily fall back in bounds, just completely ruin everything. But he's gonna get again slightly more than 100 health because he, he'll need two boosts. And as soon as last pumpkin hit spawns, yeah. Bomb pops, everything blows up. Nice and easy. So here he's gonna kill the clears because they're gonna mess him up otherwise. And then at a very specific spot he's gonna jump. And then jump again, get stuck. Oh, <laughs> And he, f yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how it's going. <laughs> oh wow! Kamikaze is just doing it through the wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe just, I should just, kill him. Yeah, just Tommy gun him. What? What the hell? <laughs> I just, don't know. Just, just use Thompson for him or something. This that never happened before. Uh, Marathon classic. Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Nice. He let us. He let us through. That was the <laughs> run keeper. Headless run keeper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Now, from the other balance, uh, it's very important again to just uh, slightly po poke ourselves out of water, uh, out of out of ground, I guess. Has it been in, in Georgia where there was a guy swimming in the ground, or was it some other anime? I I, can, I can't, for the love of myself, remember. Uh, so he, uh, while the boss is spawning, he's gonna pick up serious damage. This boss is normally there, are, like gen generators around, as you can see. What are you supposed to do is actually destroy them because otherwise, the boss is just regenerating, and the game doesn't give do you serious damage for this fight. And you're supposed to kill all the generators and then kill the boss because otherwise, he's just endlessly regenerating himself. But with uh, serious damage, you can just pop him, and uh, he's gonna die very easily. Just like that. And uh, after that, uh, the last uh, part of the run starts, which is uh, 
this uh, gothic area, I guess. I don't know. So here, in the beginning, he's gonna have a skip which uh, revolves around uh, these red guys. Gonna lure them in a specific spot and then jump on top of them, oh, no. and uh, they, and they will shoot him, and that should create the upwards momentum because no, there is no that. other ways. To, there is no other way to boost out of here. So it is a bit of RNG, but almost. But yeah, it's you gotta get a grip of it. <laughs> During practice was first try, <laughs> not first try now. This is very <laughs> random thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an, an, an annoying skip. This is really one, annoying one, skip. One extra annoying part about uh, second encounter compared to first encounter is that uh, loading are a bit longer here. Because levels oh, are bigger know. and like they put more stuff here. Oh, here we go. Finally. Nice. Okay, great. They behaved. Because no, norm, normally what you're supposed to do here, and this skip was like... I think you found this skip? I think you, I think you did. Me? No, not you? N no, 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 it wasn't me. Uh, I just uh, s s uh, just see this uh, strategy in uh, speedrun uh, of another runner. <laughs> I don't know who created it. Yeah, I just remember there was like... A, that, that was the strategy for Revolution, Series M Revolution, but it was different because you had rocket launchers, you could just boost. Well, whatever. Yes. So here, there's a weird wall, which kind of doesn't exist. He's gonna swim in a very specific direction, and then swim up the Citadel. So here, uh, and this is one of the recent discoveries, is... Uh, uh, normally you would supposed to do like the underwater sequence and then the inside of Citadel, which is like the very last part of, of the level. He here he's gonna swim up the wall. It's a very wow. tight swimming. And then do the jump. First try jump though, that is really good. That jump is really, really tight. That yes. jump is like barely possible. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Um so guys, uh, I want uh, to tell you some information about that uh, level. Uh, this is, uh, I, I think that this is the last comple complex uh, moment in this speedrun and uh, I create uh, a brand new strategy for this level uh, about uh, three weeks ago and uh, today I will perform it uh, on our marathon. Uh, uh, we... Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, I can, I can talk it over. Uh, yes, yes, okay. Alright, so can here he, he, boost, he, yeah, he boosted over the wall that generally takes 3-4 rockets. He killed the uh, secret Santa to get uh, to get help for that. So, what you are used to do, uh, what, what everyone wants to do here is uh, drop from the top of the lava pool. I guess seizure warning also, sorry. Um, uh, and get like uh, a red health there to get an extra 100 to have enough health for a boost in, yes. the last sequ in the last part of this level. But in fact, you don't really need that, because I quite find, found a pretty good new way of doing things. He's gonna pick up health, uh, boost a bit here, because it's fast. And then as soon as uh, he enters the, the frozen lake, or whatever, the glass lake, uh, He's gonna kill the, the, the red demon and then run towards the door. So normally you would need two rockets to jump over that wall because you don't want to do this entire fight. It's pretty long. He's just gonna ice physics towards uh, the door. And as soon as he's gonna get close to it, uh, if, if he like boosted himself just enough, he's gonna get... Uh, the enemies are already spawning and there are bulls on the sides. What he's gonna do is, by the time he's near the pool, okay. 
and that, yeah, there wasn't exactly a fast, but you, you could do it like as the bull approaches. Great. He's gonna first try, very easy. And as soon as Boo hits him, he's just gonna boost himself up. Yes. And that creates just enough momentum to get over the wall with just one rocket. And it saves about 15 seconds. So this is last level, uh, the Grand Cathedral. Uh, very, very long okay. level, very good music. Um, picks up uh, serious damage to get a uh, consistent boost over the wall. And then because of that, he also needs extra health and armor because uh, it's, it's basically like acts like quad damage. He pops the bomb, RB starts spawning. From the perfect spot, it should be just uh, one rocket. To get a pop, nice. Clear up the harpies. Uh, and we're almost at the end of the run. Uh, as you can see, we only fought one boss. This level is no exception, we're not gonna be fighting. Mordecai here, he jumps in the wall and uh, gets put instead of a secret under the level into because he hit, I think because he hits it from a different side or something he gets put back in the arena so now he's gonna run towards next ball and uh, he just needs to do one boost and then into the last uh... oh. <laughs> not a good boost second try okay and now just this wall easily clippable and now we just fly towards the very end. Um, uh, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, I just make a, a quick uh, non-fundraising announcement. Uh, as Tyr has just said in the chat, uh, we're going to have a quick bonus run of Yakuza... How do I say that word? K Kiwami 2. Yeah. Uh, by uh, Froob after this run, uh, which is about 15 minutes long, because we're so ahead of schedule, we need to uh, slot in some extra run so that we keep to keep the schedule. Uh, after that run, we'll be back to normal scheduled runs with Die Hard by uh, PMC Trilogy, uh, and it should be on the original scheduled time at 2 a.m. CEST. Right, so yeah, a lot, a lot of. Uh the bounce uh, seizuring. So yeah, normally you're supposed to go all the way for Cathedral and then into last area, fight, Mord fight Mordecai, and then this inside Cathedral area, which you see is actually where the cutscene takes place after you beat the Mordecai. Uh, but the level ending trigger is actually there. <laughs> you can just fly there. Um, so, uh, five, do we? I is this the run? Is this world record? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe, yes. Uh, situation uh, is uh, uh, really uh, difficult um, because I already set the world record today. Uh, oh, you did? Not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I practice uh, for uh, European Speedrun Assembly and timer starts, uh, stops, stops. I mean, uh, timer stops. Yes when I uh, close the cutscene. Uh, I guess it was really close, yeah. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yes, still, uh, even below in your initial estimate. Like initially, when Vive submitted it, it submitted with uh, in game time as the estimate, so it was 42 minutes. Still underestimate, what a god gamer. I mean, that's <laughs> what it takes to be, that's what it takes to be the best at the game. Let's be real here. Let's be real. Clap to this guy. Give him a follow. <laughs> Watch him on Twitch. <laughs> Thank but, you, yeah, that was was a great run. Do you have anything to say, or do you want me to finish it up? Uh, I want to. I want to, to tell uh, everybody. Um, a thank uh, for your attention, and uh, I want uh, to say special thanks for hosts uh, of uh, this marathon for amazing experience. Uh, I, I I'm really glad that I can uh, perform my speed run on the marathon, and uh, I want to invite uh, all all the people uh, to speed run Series Sam because uh, we have. Uh, uh, really, n not many runners, and uh, I think we can do uh, speed runs better together. Yes. Isn't that all? What is all about? All right. Great run. Uh, congratulations you. on Thank your uh, on the on your first big marathon run. <laughs> Thank you uh, all. Uh, goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye.
Yeah, thank, thanks a lot. Uh, great run. Uh, yeah, so coming up next, as I mentioned, is a bonus run of Yakuza Kiwami 2 by...